Let's take a look at um, these perimeter questions. Questions one to four are non-calculator, but from five onwards, you can use the calculator and you will need to because there are some calculations with pi and some fairly nasty numbers as well. So what are the perimeter of these squares? Now, obviously squares have side lengths which are equal. So that's just gonna be five times by four, which is 20 centimeters. This is gonna be two times four, which is eight centimeters. Here it's eight times by four, which is 32 centimeters. And here one times by four, which is four centimeters. The perimeter of the rectangles is gonna be three plus four plus another three plus another four. So eight plus six, eight plus six is 14 centimeters. This side is nine, this side is five. Nine plus nine is 18 plus 10, that's 28 centimeters. This side is two, this side is one. So we've got four, five, six centimeters. This side is 16, this side is 12. Two 16s are 32 plus uh, 22. Four, so 32 plus 24, just be on the safe side, that's uh, 56 centimeters. So these are equilateral triangles, meaning every side length is the same. So therefore it's just gonna be three times one, which is three centimeters, three times by five, which is 15 centimeters, three multiplied by 15, which is 45 centimeters, and three multiplied by 29. Well, this is a bit harder. Let's just do some long multiplication. Three nines are 27, carry two. Two threes are six, plus two is eight. So that's 87 centimeters. These triangles are isosceles. So it means that two sides are the same. So this side is either gonna be eight or 24. I think it's obviously 24 rather than eight. So 24 plus 24 is 48, 48 plus eight, is 56 centimeters. In B, this side is nine. Nine plus nine is 18, plus four is 22 centimeters. This side here is 39. 39 plus 39, well 40 plus 40 is 80, go back two, so that's 78 plus nine, 78 plus 10 minus one, 88, 87 centimeters. This side is three, three, six, seven centimeters. Okay, we can use a calculator now, which we'll need to here. Again, we just need to add three quite nasty numbers. That comes to 136 centimeters. Um, this one, you probably don't need a calculator. Three, four, five, six centimeters. C, you probably need a calculator. So just add these three numbers together and you're gonna get 327 meters. Again, D, use a calculator, 3.1 centimeters. So all we need to do for this question, just add up all the side lengths. There aren't any missing. Um, 20 plus 18, or 18 plus two is 20. 20 plus 20 is 40, so that's 41, but use a calculator if you're not sure. Nine plus nine is 18, plus 10 is 28. Again, use a calculator if you're not confident. Three, seven, eight, nine, ten. 10. Probably don't need a calculator for that one, but you probably do for D. Add them all up and you'll get 136 meters. So show two ways of splitting the shape into two rectangles. Well, you can split it into two rect rectangles by uh, going across horizontally and also vertically to create one rectangle there and one rectangle there. So the perimeter is gonna be all the side lengths added up, but there's an unknown one there and an unknown one on the left-hand side. So let's look at the one on the left-hand side. That is the total height of this shape. This side length is 18 and this is three. So therefore this side is 18 plus three, which is 21. The base is 25. If it's five from here to here, then from here to here is gonna be 25 minus five, which is 20. Add all of these numbers up together and we get a total of 92 centimeters. Question number eight, um, we need to convert the measurements to centimeters or millimeters. Well, I'm gonna convert centimeters to millimeters because then all I need to do is just change one rather than two. So multiply that by 10, it's 30. So this side is 30, this part here is 11. So the perimeter is all of these numbers added together and that comes to a total of 91 millimeters.
OK, let's have a look at question 9. So we know the square is has a perimeter of 28. If it's a square, all sides are the same. So each side is going to be 28 divided by 4, which is 7. So 7, 7. And this is a square here, so it's going to be 3 by 3 by 3 by 3. So if the big square is 7, then this length here is 4. This length here is 4. So the perimeter of the shape, if we just get rid of the shaded square, it's going to be 7 plus 7 plus 4 plus 3 plus 3 plus 4. And that is also still 28 centimetres. So in question 10, we're working out the perimeter um, of some semicircles, three-quarter circles. So what we've got here in 10a is a semicircle. So it's going to be 18 plus half of a circumference. Now, the formula for the circumference is pi times the diameter. So we want half a circumference, so that's pi times the diameter divided by 2. And then we're going to add the 18 onto it. So 3.14 times by 18 divided by 2 plus 18 um, afterwards. And that comes to a total um, of 46.26 centimetres. For B, uh, we've got 3 and another 3 here. And then we've got 3 quarters of a, a circumference. So it's 3 quarters of pi times the diameter. Well, if the radius is 3, then the diameter is 6. So it's 3 quarters times by 3.14 times by 6. And then we're going to add on um, the, uh, the 6 afterwards. Um, if you're not sure how to type in 3 quarters, you can either type in 0 0.75 or 3 divided by 4. And we should get end up with an answer of 20.13 centimetres. For question 10c, again it's a, a semicircle, so it's going to be 84 plus half a circumference. The circumference is pi times the diameter, so 3.14 times by 84, but we want half the circumference, and then we're going to add the 84 onto the end. And if we type that this part into the calculator, get the answer, and then add 84 to it, we end up with 215.88. In D, we've got 22 metres and 22 metres, and then quarter of a circumference. So that's a quarter times by pi times by the diameter. So a quarter times by 3.14 times the radius is 22, so the diameter is 44. And on top of that, when we've, when we've done that, we're going to add 22 plus 22, which is 44. Um, so you can either do 3.14 times by 44 divided by 4, or 1 divided by 4 times etc, etc, or 0 0.25. And when you add the 44 onto, onto that at the end, you should end up with 78.54 metres. Question number 11. So we want the perimeter. Uh, first of all, the perimeter of the rectangle that forms the base of the shape, or well, that is 5, 15, 5 and 15. 15 plus 15 is 30, plus 5 plus 5, so the rectangle is 40 centimetres. And we want the perimeter of the entire shape. So um, the perimeter of the entire shape is going to be 15 plus 15 plus 5 plus half the circumference of a circle. So half of pi times the diameter. The diameter is 5, so 3.14 times by 5 divided by 2 plus 15 plus 15 30 plus 5 35 and that works out um, as a total of 42.85 centimeters. For question number 12 we need to work out the perimeter of this compound shape but there are two side lengths that are unknown. Well we're told it's an isosceles triangle so therefore this side here is also 14 meters. This is a semicircle. Now, this is going to be the tricky one, this part here. Um, now, the formula for the circumference of a circle is pi times by the diameter. We've been told that pi is 3.14, so it's 3.14 multiplied by the diameter, which is 8. Now, this is for a full circle. Now, for a semicircle, we just need to half it. 3.14 multiplied by 8 divided by 2 is 
12.56 meters. So we've done the hard work. Now all we need to do is just add 12.56, 12.5, 8, 14, and 14, and we'll get a grand total of 61.06 meters.